Welcome to Delay Kickoff, and today we are putting youngsters into tier lists. Tier lists have been organised by my friend on my opposite, Charlie Griffiths. Hello and welcome and uh, to this podcast. Is it a podcast? Yeah, it is, because they can't see us. Yeah, but they so can't. I yeah, think okay. it does count as a podcast. And yeah. it's going on Nerve Podcast, so it oh, does count. Yeah. Go follow oh, them cool. all the way. What, you are? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was just uh, Nerve, innit? You've got a problem with Nerve. You know, I'm not, I'm not got a problem with Nerve at all. They're fantastic. At, yeah. uh, Great people. Um, go follow them on Twitter and all that, and Spotify. That's where all the podcasts go up, various different ones. Oh, we're on Spotify? Different categories, yeah. I don't oh, put it on Spotify, Josh does. But Brilliant. We actually, I'm going to search that up. Did you not know that? No, genuinely, I didn't realise you were on Spotify. It's okay, so, so, we'll so, so just so to clarify this, because podcast, get it yeah. going. We are in YouTube, which is the main thing we do. Spotify, which is what Josh, the guy on Nerf Podcasts, does. There is also, sometimes we're on SoundCloud. I don't think that's something going forward. Yeah, uh, Chester. Oh my God, we are. I know, don't put it on, whatever you do. Copyright ourselves. Uh, Don't get it off. 11th. Oh, I named it 12th as well. 12th then? Did you yeah. name it 12th? Yeah. Anyway, hey. tier list. So, what we usually do on the podcast is go through news, but we haven't really prepared anything. So, this is a tier list. Uh, so, what we're going to do, I've got 20 youngsters. Youngsters are under 21 at the start of the calendar year, which is 2020. Yeah. And we're just going to put them in five tiers beginner. Which is the lowest, then intermediate, professional, world class, and legendary. Okay. That's an ascending are order. We, where are we starting from? Are we starting from the top one, which is who, who is awful, or are we starting from. We could start where. I'll start top would be. Yeah, we'll just go top down. We've got top down, so we're beginning with the 18 year old Mason Greenwood, the Manchester United and England international. So, can I be reminded of the tiers? So it's Beginner, intermediate, professional, world class, legendary. We've done it on the FIFA difficulties, because. And um, we haven't included Ultimate. By the way, Ultimate is broken on FIFA. I I played FIFA yesterday, mm. and we're getting off a bit of a tangent, but we usually do. Mm. I was playing it, and um, yeah, uh, I didn't even read that. I'll read it in a minute. Um, so we've got Legendary. Yeah, that's like the second best, and then Ultimate. Yeah. Ultimate is so broken because you play it, and the like the opposition of like no, no pace, not not physical. Joke. It's an absolute joke. So I just play Legendary now. He's playing it's it's me. Uh Ultimate. Right. So starting off, I put Mason Greenwood. I'll probably put him at the minute I'll put him professional. <sighs> Why have you said that again? Oh, it just makes it easier, okay. Yeah, it makes it easier. Um <sighs> professional currently. I'm uh, in a biased seat. Yeah. Right I now. personally am not and I put him yeah. professional. I don't think he's Yeah, he's I... proven himself in the Premier League a bit. I think is look, people are talking he got about Premier League goals in Nicola Pepe. Yeah. Yes. Right there, there. That's fine. Uh, it's between professional and world class for me, because a lot of people are talking about him going to the Euros as an obviously Rashford. Yeah. And Kane might be missing the Euros, but oh, I don't, I don't, oh, I don't. Kane's just. Yeah, oh, go yeah, on. Yeah, he's he's good. Nah, I'm not going to say it. it's unpopular opinion. Go on. I, I don't rate We're full of unpopular opinions. Do. You don't rate him? No, I don't rate him as highly as other people do. Okay. What, like Which, the... But, like... Everyone's World like, Cup oh, golden he's boot the best rates. striker in the world, but even when he's... Fit, like, you b- you bring him back in the side, you put... Uh, Spurs did their Champions League run last year. Mostly, that was without Kane. It's just Son and Lucas... Yeah, but you, you can't. And I don't minute, think you could say that on, if you put Kane into, the, into that side. It's because they just came back from injury. That was a yeah, mistake know, from Pochettino. That was a mistake to put him in the side. He's he's not. He's always and he's always injured now. He's just a goal scorer. That's I and know, but he's always injured. At the end of the day. That's my point. He's, he's not injured. always injured. He is slightly how many, injured. How played. many Premier League games has he played this season? How many goals has he scored? Well, well, okay. Why you do that? I'm gonna put. Uh, well. Uh, are you going to budge on professional? Okay, so he's got 11 in 20. Which 11 in 20. Term. Okay, yeah. let's look at Mason Greenwood's stats as well. Okay. Because... Uh, Mason Greenwood. I think... I think he's got two Premier League goals. Might have three. 
Yeah, but it has. I think there was a fact that four. four. Goals so he's he's really good, and I hope that now Rashford's injured oh, yeah, that no, he gets more game time. That's good for an eighteen-year-old. Yeah, that's a quarter of the matches. Right so I think the matches you've scored in. I th- I do I I can see why he's saying professional. I think maybe he just gets into world class. He's not okay. World class might be like saying he's well. Nicolo, like. No, but um. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I'd, I'd put it world class. I would yeah, yeah. just. You say so you agree with that, are you? Yeah, I, I've. No, but yeah, yeah. He's, no, but he's, yeah. He's done well. He's done well with the opportunities he's been given. Okay. Um, he's done well next, with the Gabriel Martinelli. Obviously, I put him in. I would put. Him yeah, in Gabriel. Martinelli. World class, probably. In, in terms of youngsters, he's world class. I think him and Greenwood are all the same. Yeah, I think they. I think they. You can't really the moment. So right I think that. I agree. Who, if put one in, well, clutch got sort put the of other. both making it into their club side this year. Obviously, he was a new. Do you think Arsenal. that in five years, five years time, we'll go with? Will Green would be the main man at Man United and Martinelli be the main man at Arsenal, or well, do you think they should move? For Martinelli, I can certainly see that because obviously he's young. That <laughs> Arsenal side, like even with even with the addition of Pepe and. Uh, Guendouzi, like they're still that, like you still have old, older sort of heads in there, like David Luiz and stuff. He's quite old. Um, you've obviously got Aubameyang, who's thirty, Lacazette, sort of late twenties. So I think I think going forward, Gabriel Martinelli will probably be like you look at you look at old videos of R nine, like the original Ronaldo, Ronaldo Nazario, and, and you, and you yeah. think you could see a lot of that in Martinelli, like yeah. the skill. Um, the way he is with his feet, how composed he is on the ball, like you can you can really see a lot of that in Martinelli. So I think he's definitely got a bright future ahead of him. I agree. I and totally I, I do agree. I, I can think see big clubs going in, in for him. I can see big clubs going in for Greenwood as well. He's, he's sort of got the. Well, he's obviously his, his finishing's all, just not bad, is it? For yeah. an 18 year old, it's only going to get better. I and t- he's got composure on the ball. Yeah. I think out of the two. Martinelli would be the one to move out of the yeah, Premier League. Yeah, absolutely. Because Greenwood, I think United is a boy of club. Mm, yeah, I can't see. Why it's like, wanna... would is Rashford going to leave? Yeah, mm. it's a boy of club, and um, maybe it depends on Man United are in five years' time whether yeah, he wants to stay or not. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, his um, career comes first. I think. But J- Jay, go moving on to uh, Jaden Sancho. I put probably put him in legendary. He yeah to uh, produce the statistics he's produced at what, nineteen yeah. eighteen years old. He is when you say youngster, he is amazing. the one like, that you that, think that's of. That's the one that you think of when you think of like yeah. a rising. So he's only star, nineteen like. years of age. That is yeah, and he's he's like it's like thirty goal involvements in twenty six yeah. games or something. That's like not the same like as joke. my Man United career mode. Yeah, <laughs> but I've signed Jack Grealish on Man United career mode. He is like the best FIFA. Oh, Twenty career oh, player he's ever. He's good. He's good. He's a good player. Oh, did you see my tweet about him? I, I did. Said, I said if you put if you put someone like if you put a, a, a good finisher up front with um, Jack Grealish just sitting behind playing and the balls creating the chance like he does, I think you've got a lot of goals basically, a lot of assists for Grealish, a lot of goals for whichever striker it could be. Haaland, it could be Lewandowski, it could be Mbappe. Yes, absolutely. Hmm. So I don't think there's any dispute that we should be putting Jason Sancho in legendary. No, I, he, I he's he's agree. the one, isn't he? You know, um, Vinicius Junior. I see. Here's here's the issue. I think he's not being played enough. No, trade. yeah, I think he's a good player. He he's can a be a good, good player. player. When he Nineteen, comes on, though, he's playing well. Yeah, he's. I think Brazil's attacking sort of future is very is in very much in safe hands. Yeah, I think. You, yeah, definitely with another player who's coming up on this list. Yeah, so I think that. I do think that Julia uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards either professional or intermediate I I just you know, I yeah I thought I'd turn the thing don't know why I haven't <laughs> I thought I'd turn good. it off by the monitor good right anyway uh, so who, what, do you, what do you think here? what do you think um, well I think intermediate he hasn't really had much of an opportunity to prove himself. Um, you do say that. Sort of similar to an up and coming on yeah. this list, Phil Foden. Well, we're, 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 you know what, we'll put Phil Foden next. So we're agreeing with Vincent's studio is. Yeah, yeah, intermediate. And I, I think, think Phil there is Foden, a reason we have a brought him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I don't think he's. He can but be a great player, but at the moment, 
in terms of potential, I guess we're yeah, judging yeah. this on potential oh, yeah, form at the moment. But could they be? Uh, if Foden, it's got so the potential. Obviously, he could be a world class player one day, but he's not being played enough. At City at the minute. Absolutely, he needs to leave. I've, um, City. I've so. obviously I've I've had my say a lot on Phil Foden. I've written that article on him. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's just he's 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 for me he's he's an intermediate player in Ooh. terms of youngsters. No. I'd when he's when he's given the opportunity, he shows himself. In professional, you c- I don't think you could put him in the intermediate just because Pep Guardiola doesn't play him. Yeah, I think when, he when gets he's given g- the opportunity, he, he does play well. There's there's definitely something there. I reckon professional. I think putting him in the intermediate is putting him on the same level as Vanessa Studio. I just think is. I don't. I guess. I I personally put him in professional, but I know how yeah, you feel about yeah. him, so I th- I don't know. Um, moving I think on he's to a good player though. Moving on to Callum Hudson. So are we putting him in a, a yeah intermediate for Phil Foden? Okay, absolutely. Okay, well, well you're not budging on that. I'm not budging. No, I mean, he needs to be given more of a chance. Hudson Odoi. That's Pep Guardiola's fault. He's an intermediate. Though. Um, Dwight. sort of come back into a Chelsea side off an injury. Uh, obviously Chelsea doing quite well. Well, for the, well they're overachieving, considering. Average. Considering the transfer ban and everything, they didn't sign anyone last window either. True. Um, I think they'll be waiting to the summer to do their business, but <sighs> Hudson Odoi, I'd probably put professional. Like, there's definitely it's like phone. There's something there. He's always he's always. See, I, you've you really screwed this. I think with putting phone in the media because if you put Hudson Odoi in professional, then well, he gets his, he gets opportunities at Chelsea. He's, be, he's got more opportunities at Chelsea than. You can't put this on opportunities, though. Oh yeah, you can. Because Absolutely. Yeah. If 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 a youngster isn't given the opportunity, you oh, can't yeah. you can't see their but what they're about. I still think I put Hudson Adoy. He's overhyped. Mm. I think he's a good. Yeah, player. I agree. No, I, I, I agree. Could be a professional yeah. as well with that. I think that is worthy. Mm. Yeah, I think that's good. So we're gonna put. So we're gonna put Hudson Adoy in. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Cool. Professional. Professional. That sounds good. So next up we got Rodrigo. Hmm. Uh, he's eighteen years old. I'm a big fan of him. Yeah, I, I think he's yeah. a really good player. I think um, he's good goal scorer. Hmm. He's called a hat trick, didn't he? Yeah. In Champions it, League. But you got to look at the opposition. Uh, true. 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 But still, hat trick in the Champions League with eighteen. Oh yeah, eighteen. Not many uh, no, do I'll that, so I think that's agree, a yeah. really. Even whether whoever plays against the opposition, mm. so I think that is a good player there. I'm l- I'm leading towards professional. I'm, I'm leaning. leaning yeah, I, I agree. Professional I think would it's be a fair up- assessment. I think it's the upper limit of professional. It is hot to do, isn't it? Yeah, it's fucking roasting. So I think that Rodrigo or Rodrigo, however you say it, is going to professional. I do think that. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> letting something out of you. Yeah, I'm so oh, right. tired. Uh, moving on to Alfonso Davies. Uh, Alfonso Davies, like two years of old, by Munich player. I think it's four assists. No, it might. I know he's got two goals in 22 games, and obviously that's not. It's not quite Sanchez level, is it? Oh no, but um, uh, and maybe he, he does play at left back I think, sometimes. Do you know what though? I think he's actually Bayern's think, answer to Lingard. That's a rich statement. Yeah, I know. Uh, Very three, rich. Three assists, one goal in 16 Bundesliga appearances. Obviously, he got a debut goal. Well, he didn't get a debut goal, That's but he got his goal. He got his worst, first goal it? Especially when, last when season. You're 19. He's getting regular game time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, I think that definitely says something about it. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I, I, <sighs> I struggle to put him any higher than intermediate. I... Obviously, obviously Bayern have a bit have of a different setup to Dortmund, and one. he's not gonna he's not gonna get he may not get as much of an opportunity as Sancho. They've got a different setup uh, tactics wise, yeah, uh, sort of academy wise as well, and bringing in the young players as well. True, but I personally I can't really like I can't I'd I'd struggle to put him anywhere above intermediate. Yeah, I because what yeah. I've seen of him in the Champions League and in t- Bundesliga highlights. Obviously, I know it's only the highlights, not the full game. 
Uh, I did watch one full bowling game. I think it was against Hertha. I, I can't remember, but uh, he look, he didn't look too bad. He, he didn't. He doesn't look too bad a player. Obviously, he's gonna. He's coming up. He's he's he's, a, he's an up and coming player. He's an up and coming talent, and there are flashes of talent and potential there. But I I for now I'd struggle to put him above intermediate. You've got to consider the league he's in as well, mm, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. The Bundesliga is not the most yeah. competitive right, league. Well, exactly, yeah. is the Premier League? That's another. To- that's a question for another time. But yeah. I do think intermediate. He's the upper limit of intermediate, mm. but I do think he does categorise as intermediate. Yeah. Get on to an interesting one. Premier League player doesn't get much game time. Uh, uh, Moyes Keane. Keane, beginner. I can see why he doesn't get much game time. His attitude is rumoured to be. Mm. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard that as well. Dull. Because Ancelotti started playing him yeah. o- often and it's, he, he hasn't. he's dropped him. There's a reason for that. Marco Silva definitely wouldn't Marco play Silva him. Marco Silva wouldn't play him. Even though Sardinger didn't Duncan play him. Duncan Ferguson subbed him on then subbed him off. Yep. Clearly there's something wrong there. There's the way definitely there is, is Again, all of these youngsters on this list have shown flashes of talent, but I I think at least intermediate. Mm. I don't think beginner I don't think beginner's quite there. No. I don't that's that's really harsh. Yeah, I'd, I'd I do think he's got potential. Oh, well, we're going to have to put someone in beginner, mate. I can see someone. Who? Well, we'll get there. You saying Morgan Gibbs White? Well, we'll get there. But voice key, I do think is intermediate. I do I do think it could be beginner, but I think just Gets yeah. into his because we have to consider the stuff he did at Juventus. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And he did do relatively well there. Hence oh why yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Picked him up. So I think intermediate. Morgan Gibbs White obviously hasn't been given much game time this season I'll, due I'll to injury. Oh, uh, part of the Under Seventeen World Cup winning squad with England. Obviously, he was quite influential in that. Uh, he's uh, he he had a good season last season. So obviously, he's a bit quiet this season, but wasn't fair in the top. He's been injured. Yeah, Foden was player of the tournament. Yeah, he was. No, He's I'd an intermediate. Just, just. Yeah, I put, put I out. put Gibbs White. He gets about as much opportunity as Foden, and when he does, he gets a bit. He more does opportunity uh, than watching, Foden. watching. Yeah, he, uh, yeah. Not much. And he probably, he probably is just as good as Foden. I'd say, looking at it, I look at watching him for an entire game. When I've watched him for an entire game, he's like, like he did, like he did against Chelsea. He's a strong, strong cat player. He's got he's got everything you need from a midfield. He, he can play the ball. Uh, he can play on the wings if you need him to. I think we, uh, even Nuno's played at right wing back once. Um, yeah, he's I'd say intermediate. Yeah, I think mm. that's about right. I think if we if we put a professional, we've put. I can't even think anymore. Greenwood. Greenwood. Was, yeah. That was world class, wasn't it? With Martinelli. Oh, it was, yeah. Yeah, so I think professional is maybe a bit far for yeah, him at the moment. Yeah, maybe a bit far for him at the he's moment. He's not far but off, but I not think... not far off, not at all. Obviously, you're the Wolves fan. You've watched him more than I have, so I think yeah, I'm um, happy to go with your judgment. Completely, yeah, he's got, he's got parts of his game he needs to pick up on. Like, his passing's not always there. Um, definitely a player Wolves should be keeping. And oh, yeah, absolutely. If we, if we sold him, I'd just... Definitely a player that could be useful as well with the Europa League coming up mm. and the yeah. congestion of games. Um... Also, just to add, we've added uh, Renat Dadashov, Daniel Pedence, and Leonardo Campagna to our Europa League squad. Fair enough. With uh, Catroni, Vallejo, and Harry Burgoyne leaving it. <sighs> Who, Harry, what? Harry Burgoyne, he made his uh, he made his debut against Fulham in a four-all draw in the Championship in December 2016. Sorry. Okay. So and he shouldn't be on this list then. Oh no, 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 not at all. He's, uh, he's just he's well just left the Shrewsbury Town, but he played in the oh, famous two one win at Anfield when we Richard Stearman scored in the first minute and Andy Vyman scored on the stroke of half time. Perfect. A and then Divock Origi scored That's in the like sixty nine. Uh, yeah, it was it was while ago. it was two thousand seventeen in January. So I'm happy to go with intermediate for Morgan Gibbs White. Yeah, Ryan Sessegnon, I'd struggle to put anywhere above professional. Obviously, we've seen what he can do in the championship. Um, I am not the biggest fan of Ryan Sessegnon. Right, we've seen he's what he can do in the championship. Really. He, uh, I, I disagree with what um, 
Slavisa Jakanovic did in playing him at left wing. I think he's better operated as a left left back or a left wing back. Um, because a player like him needs to be getting forward more from a further distance in order to accommodate his. Well, it, it's ball. It's time on the ball. It's passing. He's versatile. He's versatile. That's, exactly. that's that's probably the only thing he's got going. He was okay at Fulham. I don't. What's he done at Tottenham though? He's been injured. He's been. He's quite injury prone. Come on, as you said about Harry Kane as well. Yeah. I. You said you wouldn't put anything above professional. I. I. I think. I. Obviously, he's a playoff winner with Fulham. You got to remember that. At you, a young age, he was. He was started in the Fulham lineup, getting goals. True. He got a hat trick against Sheffield United. True. 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 Um. You got. He's been around for a while, hasn't he? Considering yeah, yeah, he's yeah. only nineteen, he was bust on the scene when mm. he was like what 16, 17. So. I think he okay. I just think he just gets into professional, but mm. that is a tough one. I think he sh- he needs to prove himself. Oh, then Brett Harland is obviously legendary. Brett Harland, I well, I'm interested to hear your opinion on uh, uh, Brett Harland. Legendary mate, he's an amazing player, legendary. clinical finisher. Crikey. Um, I was expecting what that. Was it 17 goals and 16 appearances for Red Bull Salzburg yeah. this season? Uh, I might need to double check that. Do you know what? My facts are just so off today. I'm so tired. Brilliant. But he's got absolutely he's got brilliant. Seven goals in four games or something at Borussia Dortmund. Yeah. Um, him and Sancho are obviously on fire. Like you know, that was just going to be a fire combination. Like. Yeah, I, it, I, it, it hits different. Like, it's yeah. definitely upper world class or mm. legendary. He's yeah. set the Bundesliga like Yes, it's the Bundesliga. We've already been through this, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy to put him in legendary. And as I said, so I can, so uh, out mind you, signing strikers in the Bundesliga is a dangerous game. Yeah, um, you've got to look at Rebic, Jovic, Haller. Yeah, definitely. Um, Joe Linton, all produced. Absolutely. Numbers, good numbers last season. What, what you can just look season? at I think, do I want to see him stay at Bundesliga for a long time? No, I want him in the no, Premier League because he's so a good player. He, he will end up in the Premier League, whether it's for Man United or Man City. But It'll probably be for Man City. Do though. you think if he stays at, in Bundesliga and makes that traditional move from Dortmund to Bayern, Mm. Do you think that he could be a replacement for Lewandowski? Because I, I think Brett I don't want to see him do that. I think, do I, Dort- I think Dortmund that, need to think need to build themselves back up to be the force to be reckoned with in the Bundesliga. True, true, it's true. It's been buying for too long. They're back at the top of the table now. They were seventh in what October. True. They, but we always knew they were going to win it because I, I don't know what it is about the other teams. Their forms just fall off a cliff. When he was linked with Man United, I was, I was happy, but at the same time. We, there's Martial, there's Rashford, there's Greenwood, and then there's Holland. That's four really good, mm. relatively young. Yeah, you players. don't need attackers at I this point. I don't think no. Holland is. What you need is another left back or another centre back. What are you talking about? Man United. You need a left back or a centre back. You've got a midfield. You've got a good midfield at the minute. We do not have a good. With Bruno we need Pogba, a, we need McTominay. A midfielder. Pogba's leaving in the summer. Yeah, so use that. They won't cash. play too many more games. Someone's oh, Ewan's just texted me. You at uni? Should we tend to pop in? T- no. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the time he gets it, we'll be over. Anyway, we're talking. Anyway. Okay. He can if he wants. Okay. Better be awkward. Right. Matthias Delict. Um, he is a baller. Yeah. I act last year. You've had this now. Yeah. One of the top centre backs in the world. Oh, I wouldn't say so. Not this season. Well, well last he's been season dropped he was. to the bench. Last season he was. Yeah, yeah. And I'd at 19 when he was last season, he's now 20. I It was struggled to put him above <sighs> world class, mate. Obviously, I'd Champions p- League semi to the Ajax is a massive part of that. I put him in world class. I think he's a fantastic player. And I think. Oh, yeah. But he's a very. He's got. It's very a much lot. a school of defending Juventus, and he's he's been schooled by a lot of attackers this season. True, especially in that three four three game against Napoli, and and the Erdovizi uh, to Syria or Carasio, whatever game you play. Yeah, 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 it's just I think that is because Erdovizi is not that competitive. Let's no, face yeah, it, absolutely not. Syria, I do think it's quite competitive actually, because uh, there's Milan. You got both Milan's Napoli, Roma, Juventus. Obviously, well, Milan, AC, AC Milan have obviously fallen off a cliff. Oh yeah, but I still think they're. Oh yeah, they're of st- course. They're yeah, still yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're not I, I agree. Or something, but speaking of AC Milan, moving do, on to we haven't put Delict in a, in a tier yet. I do. Yeah, think we have. We've put him in 
I, world class. I <laughs> world class, mate. Honestly. Oh, okay. World class. World class. It's it's it's. But at the very top of the tree in world class. Bottom of the tree. Top of the tree. What? So you think he's just about to breach into legendary? Yeah. Interesting. I don't think that's because you've just been told me that he's been schooled by loads of. Pl- oh yeah, he's attackers. been schooled by a load of attackers in Syria, but. But uh, keep keep playing next to Chiellini, Bonucci, and he will become yeah, that, a great defender. That, you got the experience. Juventus there, you got is very the... much a school for teaching defending. True, true, true. So I'm I'm happy at the moment. Yeah, yeah. World class. Um, I don't think he's high up at world class. Gian Luigi Donnarumma, obviously, is twenty next. years old. Twenty years old. I'm very very big fan of him. Really? Yeah. I, yeah. I think I think he does the, his best with what's in front of him. Obviously, yes. Milan is an ever-changing lineup. True. I think they've he, got they've got a lot of defenders that are just sort of. He's one that they can rely on for a long, long time. Yeah, I, I agree. Obviously, goalkeepers are going until they're what forty. Mm. So he's got I don't think he'll stay at Milan forever, but I do think he could stay at Milan for a long time. And I yeah, think, oh yeah, of course. I think that, that he's such a good goalkeeper. And mm. Well, I. Do I see Milan coming up again as in like becoming a force to be reckoned with? And in the minute. next five years, they need rec- they're, they're, they're very much they like be. Manchester United. They need a bit of a rebuild, and they're going too fast about the way they're doing it. They need to take it slow. True, sort true, of true. Work their way up, just yeah. like Man United need to. Yeah, I do think Ginobili, Donnarumma. <sighs> it's either for me professional or world class. I, yeah, I, I, I think I think professional. Oh Why well, world class, world class. Why, no. He's at the end of the day, world class. He started. He started over three hundred games for Milan. Yeah, I'm. I'm a big fan of his. So He's I'm twenty years old. Like, that, that's saying something. When you started over three hundred games yeah. for your club and you're twenty years old, you're the undisputed number one there. Yeah. Well, obviously number ninety nine because he's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is it is for me it's got to be world class and it'll only be a few years before he's making his way up to legendary like on his, Italy etc he's now their number one do you think he's in the top 10 goalkeepers in, in the world because look at him he is the only goalkeeper yeah. on the list yeah yeah yeah, yeah I think yeah. so I there are a lot of go, go on, let, we'll go off a bit of Italian we've got a bit of time yeah you oh do we we've yeah. got about 10 minutes mate how do we have 10 minutes Oh well, mm. we'll go a bit of a bit of a tangent anyway. A quick tangent. Yeah, yeah. So, who is your top ten goalkeepers? De Gea, Lloris, Allison, Edison, Ariola, Courtois, Kaylon Navas. How many have I said? About like seven. seven. Um, Donnarumma. Yep. I'm about to fall off my chair if you don't say someone. To Stegen. Oh, I wasn't thinking of that one, but yeah. Or black. Yeah, there we go. I'd I'm not falling off my chair. Uh, so oh, and uh, take back Ariola, actually. Noia, yeah, that was Noia's a bit far. obviously up there. Noia's obviously up there. I is up there that, well. I do think I maybe he is in top 10 goalkeepers, maybe. Who, Ariola? No, Donnarumma. Yeah, well, actually. Shesley, he's okay, isn't he? Yeah, he's not bad, yeah. But, anyway, <laughs> I do think Donnarumma is. Would you take him at Wolves? He's similar to Patricio. He's very similar to Patricio. How old's Patricio? 30, 31. Would you take him as a replacement for Patricio? Yes. Brilliant. Absolutely. Right. Matteo Guendouzi, 20 years old for the Arsenal. I think he's overrated. Huh? I think he's overrated. I think, I think a lot I'm, of Arsenal I'm, fans I'm, rave about him a lot and like, yeah, he puts in the work, but is he that good? I, I think is he Is he really that good? He's very inconsistent. He he's he's very consistent. Really good game. He's a good player, but the, really the way good. Arsenal fans bang on about him, you think he's the next Modric. Like genuinely, I I do think he's overrated. I don't think he's overrated. I just think he's inconsistent. Uh. I just <laughs> we'll just let that one s- s- leave in the air for a couple of minutes. Okay. But speaking of overrated, I don't think I'm going to say that also about our next uh, okay entrant. But we're not there yet. Yeah, we're not there yet. Um, <laughs> um, keep, keep I put him in. I put I put Guendouzi in professional. I don't think he's quite world class. Okay. He hasn't really oh, done no, much I, in his career he, yet. That would signify. I always talk about upper echelons of professional. At the end of the day, it's professional world class. Right. But you wrote, yeah, you wrote the league final at nineteen. It's very good, but that was a club thing. That was a club him, thing he, exactly. He like, person, personally, I don't think. Question of would I take you at Man United? Yeah. Yeah. But I uh, yeah professional. You need moment. players in that sort of position though. The sort of. Yeah, 
Absolutely, but I think he's a good player, and I think he's yeah, yeah, one for the future. Absolutely, he maybe he's not let's say the next Modric. He can be, mm. very, but oh yeah, of course. He started off young, and I'm, I'm yeah. I've still got a lot of young players at the moment, and I've just realised we haven't put someone in. Okay, we we put him in. We'll put is him that Reese Nelson? No. Who is it? Biaka Saka. Yeah, we haven't put him in. I'm a big fan of him. We'll I put am him as well. Now. We'll put him in now. We'll, we'll put him in 21. now. Yeah, Biaka Saka. I don't know how he's. Good player. Think, but he's 19, yeah. yeah I oh, he's 18. He's 18. Yeah, I think so. Even better. Regular starter. Uh, regular starter. Right, he's proven well. that he's good when he plays. Awesome. A lot of people, well, Arsenal fans say it, but also have a relatively, also have a team, a very good team of good players and youth. If Pepe starts, th- there's no reason Arsenal should be in top four. Oh, absolutely. And if they're not in top four, it's the manager. Because yeah. the players are there. Hmm. So I do think that maybe they need another couple of defenders, but in terms of midfield and definitely attack, they have got a brilliant squad that, should be a top four without a doubt. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree. So we'll put Guendouzi a professional. Uh as Saka. Uh, I put him in world professional class. as well. Ooh, why would you uh, put him in professional? Well, obviously he's the same, he hasn't really done much so He's done more than Guendouzi. He's done more than Guendouzi. So I think But he plays in a different position. He plays in lots of different positions. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's very versatile. Player. I but think when he's at the team, he's a diff he's a difference maker. And at that age <sighs> excuse me. At that age of 18, being mm. a difference maker in an Arsenal team, mm. where there's so many big characters, mm. I think is a yeah. world-class credential. So I, th- I would put him in world-class. But Yeah, no, I agree. So you're putting him in world-class? I'll put, yeah, yeah, I think about not, it. He's not like yeah, world-class yeah. like Greenwood or Martinelli. Kai Havertz, overrated. I totally Bundesliga agree. player. I agree. I think uh, he, didn't, he, couldn't, he can't even do it in the Champions League. People yes. are looking at signing him, but he can't even do it on the biggest stage in his career. True. Because the Bundesliga is... True. It, it pales in comparison to the Champions League. So, yeah, I totally agree. Uh, I wouldn't put him any higher than intermediate. I've got to be honest. I think professional would... Is yeah, I It put, can I'd be put professional, but I think that's being too Professional, generous. yeah, he's done He's done a bit. Obviously, he got the player of the month, I think, a few, a few months ago. But yeah. I th- I think I'd probably put him in professional considering what he's done personally. Yeah. But I would I no I wouldn't I wouldn't have him at my club. He's he's overrated. Yeah. He's massive overrated. Yeah. Um. Jao Felix. Jao Felix. Yes. Twenty. Very. Over one. Uh, well, overpriced. Uh, overpriced. I'm not sure about overrated. Obviously. I think he is overrated. Well, you can't you can't say he's overpriced without oh, overrated. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's and overrated. Not, Two goals, yeah. four assists in, uh, he's just, in, in just, 20 games. It's, been, it's not good It's not good enough for a one on day. I don't know whether the price tags are went in down. I don't know whether it's a move to another country, a move, uh, obviously, a different language, sort of similar language. But Do you think if, in a fantasy world, Manchester City purchased him, do you think he'd do well in the Premier League? No. He's not, he's not the right sort of player. I think... He's not what he's not what you look for in the Premier League. No, side. he's not. And I would put Al Felix in. I'd probably put him. You see, it's the price tag, isn't it? At the end of the day. Yeah. Because putting forty mil tops. I can't yeah. believe Atletico spent that much. Yeah. I genuinely can't. It's, it's amazing. How much was it at the end? Like one hundred forty-five mil. Yeah, that's what. That's t- uh, Euro. One of the most expensive players of the world. Yes, yeah, third. Third behind Ronaldo and who else? Coutinho. Yeah, it's a, jo- so it's a joke. That's oh, but I I put him in intermediate. That's harsh. I mm. just don't think he's got it. Um, Honestly, I, I, I'm in no position to judge him. Moving on to football, but I think he is joining Kai Havertz at oh, intermediate. Absolutely. Moving on to Mason Mount, I'll put him a professional. I think I think you're about right on that one. I yeah, think. I not do. Much to say about not him. much to say about him. He's a bit of a ready salted midfielder, sort of. Just ready salted midfielder. Yeah, yeah, he's just. Right, I don't think uh, he's another one like Gwen Doozy. Mm. He has these pa- purple patches and then he has these dry patches, and it's just yeah, yeah. It's just I, I it's one or another, isn't it? You know, it's yeah. It's it's frustrating. Mm. So I, I think yeah, I, I think yeah, it's got to be. So Mason Mount, professional. I think Chelsea have a player in him mm. for the future. Oh yeah, absolutely. But professional, and he's not even near intermediate. I think he's. 
bang on professional. He's bang a professional yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, they're all professional football. And Zufati, world Ooh, class. The, young, yeah, the, the youngest. Two goals, goals the other night, missed. assisted by Lionel Messi. Um, great player, cracking player. He, he, he's, he's done a lot for Barcelona uh, in, in a short space of time since the start of the season. Obviously introduced by the um, depart, recently departed Ernesto Valverde. He's, I think Setien could probably get the best out of him. He's, he's a great player. He is. I'd and put you him, put him in world I'd class. put him in world class with what he's done so I far. I am going to debate that and try to put him in professional. I just think it's too early on. Mm. I just think he's he's come on the scene this season. Mm. Maybe if he's been doing it for two seasons. Yeah. Maybe they're world class. But at the moment, no doubt in his potential. I do think Saturday will oh, get no, the best of out of it. But I do think yeah, yeah. that he's 17. You can only learn from Messi. True. He's got the best players around him. Yeah. Um. So I do think that Atsu Fati is professional. But he's upper or professional. Mm. But... I can see why you want to put me world class. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a few seasons, maybe. Yeah. Once he's um, got that consistency throughout some different seasons, that he could breach into world class. But that's just my opinion. Pedro and Neto. The final player is Pedro the Neto. Man, Pedro Neto, who's come to the scene really this season, hasn't he? Um. Well, he's at Lazio last season. Um. Didn't do a lot there, obviously, because they weren't really willing to give enough for Wolves to buy him. Immobile up front. Uh. Enough for Nuno to put faith in him. This season, he's done quite well. Uh. Obviously, four goals, two don't count because apparently they were offside, but even though they weren't. This is a no, non-VAR <laughs> podcast, uh, advisory. Uh, yeah. Um. We need. We really need to like nail down the conversation. We we do we need to, we do need to buy it. But uh, nah, th- th- we're not big enough, and no one's going to nick it yet. Hopefully, yeah. but but do we'll do that at the end. Yeah, Pedro Neto, nineteen. Where you want? Where you wanted to put him? Obviously Professional. You. I. T- yeah. Like you've just nodded, mate. It's professional. Uh, it's either professional or intermediate, and you're going to really cringe at that. But professional, no, professional. I think he's better than Gibbs White. Given the opportunity, he's, d- he's been doing really well. Point, but then you the runs he then makes, the way he works Foden. his socks off. See, we're, we're yeah, he's better than Phil Foden. He's, but he's better than Phil Foden. Foden. But he's better than Phil Foden. I don't think so. I think he is. I, don't think so. I think he is. I think he is. Phil Foden changes games when he's on sometimes. Neto. Yeah, but Neto does as well. You should have seen the impact he, he's made since when Jota's been out. Jota has changed the game, but in a terrible way. <laughs> when they bring Neto off and put Jota on, that is the worst substitution Nuno can make. He's just yeah. awful. We need to sell him, Jota. He's definitely a player for the Wolves' the future. Yeah. I Absolutely. I'm ha- I'll, 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 I'll happily put him in professional, but I do think it may be intermediate just about. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, that... that If he does it on a more regular basis. Yeah. That. Well, it's the same about Sue Fatty, I do think, that once you get... For a few seasons. Although, looking at this list, how many of these have been around for a long time? How many of these would we had on this list this time last year? Uh, Sancho. Delict, Sancho, Felix, Mount. Yeah, a lot. Probably Havertz, probably Guendouzi. A lot of them have come in Um, relatively recently. Yeah. So, that's a judgment for the tier list. But Mm. uh, it's up to you at the end of the day, whatever you want to... But I just say maybe intermediate. Professional at push. If he does it on a more regular basis, that's a more set in stone professional. Oh, yeah, of course. It's up to you whether you want to put him in intermediate or professional. Mm. What are you doing? What I'm are you putting put him in? in professional. Okay. There was, I don't think there's any doubt in that, really. So, that is that. And we'll have a quick recap. Actually, no, because people might skip to the end of the video to look at the recap and not listen to anything else. Mm. So... All right, that was quite fun. Uh, do you want to us. plug uh, anything, done. promote anything, plug, promote? Um, yeah, my Twitter, Maximus Arvo. I've recently become quite active on that. Obviously, my other Twitter, Molyneux Mag, uh, is doing quite well, like 100 and something followers, yep. 112 followers in the space of three months, which I'm quite happy with. That is good, that's good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's at Delayed Kickoff. Uh, at Delayed Kickoff on Twitter. At Charlie Griffo 1 on for me. I'll, I'll probably, if you give me the account, I can go on there as well. I gave you the account. 
Did you? What's the password? Oh, shit. Probably shouldn't say that on air. Yeah, well, we're not um, going to say that on air. All right, decent. Duh, okay. The password is... No. Um, yeah. Delay the kick off Molyneux Mag. <laughs> That's a yeah, the Delay kick off Molyneux Mag, Max Masava and Charlie G- Dog Griffin. Yes. Yeah. And also the YouTube is Delay Kickoff. And, and on Spotify, Spotify, just Spotify. type in Delay Kickoff and it comes Type in Nerf Podcasts. Have a scroll down if you like. I'm trying to think of the ones there are. There's wrestling one. There's... Other, there's other stuff. There's the alternative sports one. We've promoted that a few times. Mm. So go on there if you're a big fan of podcasts. Even if you just want to listen to something for 60 minutes or so, or 40 minutes in our case tonight, or today, whenever you or morning. Who knows? Who knows yeah. when I'm watching it? But or listening to it, I should say. But I need to. You're busy, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, we'll do an outro now. So do follow us on all those socials. We'll be back. Next week, back to normality. I do think with this, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just testing the water, seeing if this blows up. Yeah, Who hopefully knows? it does. Hopefully it does. We might do more yeah. tier lists. Get a bit of a, get a bit of the dingo dollar. Yeah, um, uh, bit of wonga, bit of wonga, bit of dough. Yeah, bit bit of the good old dough. But next week we'll be back. Me and Max was maybe a special guest. Who knows? Who knows these days? Yes, might exactly. be. Who knows? But people are busy. Um, well, we're gonna do it Wednesday next. Yeah, week. yeah, probably, yeah. Are we going to hug over? Uh, yeah, we probably will. Hug over podcast. Join us next week. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, if this podcast is late, I don't have a computer at the moment, so feel free to donate a computer if you want. All right, cheers. Cheers. Well, have a nice we, night, everyone. Yeah, and we Cheerio. will see you next week on the delay kickoff.